Hey yo, what's going guys, it's boy here, and today we're going to be looking at the limited time 2010 Dodge Viper SRT-10 ACR-X inside of South of Florida. That is a mouthful to say, but I mean, this car looks incredibly cool. It is a limited time car, and honestly, it is going to be a really, really cool review, I can tell. Now, before we get into this review, I want you guys to know that I do get a Roblox group with a Roblox merch. I got a Discord group to join, and I got some social you can follow. All the links are in the description below. Also, my name is Hypo, I do car reviews, car things, a lot of car stuff, so if you guys do like this video, hit that like button, subscribe and hit that bell for notifications every time I upload a new video. But yeah, why don't we get in to the dealership to check out its price. So, why don't we go over here, get into this green little bubble. Let's go down to the uh, supercar section where it's still here, okay? This is our little secret, guys. The limited time Viper is still in the dealership. It was supposed to be here only for 24 hours, but here it is, $126,500. It's right there, so cop it while you can. But why don't we get back outside to see this car? So we kind of took a look at it while I was saying the intro. So why don't we get in this bad boy? And what do we, what's it called? Listen to its startup. So let's go up against its exhaust and just turn it on. I do like that. I think that was just, okay, this is the idle. Okay, I thought the startup was just really long, but um, startup, I did like that. Then it went straight to the idle, it was kind of really quick. For the for the startup and then the idle sound, very very nice. I do like this. Why don't we rub this bad boy up? Oh, we got flames. This thing does spit flames. It does sound pretty nice though. I do like that. Why don't we do the blinker test? Blinkers are the bottom lines right there. Dots right there. Headlights. Headlights right there. And big bubble right there. Now, why don't we get this car going onto the street and see how this track focused ACR here is going to well do? So let's go over here. And line this car up. Now, as we're going to line this car up, I want you guys to know that I'm going to be upgrading this car to the max. And then testing out its top speed, it's turning everything after I do that. So, this is the non-upgraded test, and then we're going to do all the upgraded tests after this. So, rev this bad boy up, turn traction control off, and send it. So, in 3, 2, 1, go. Off the line, we are going mid-speed. I mean, this is a, what, 2010 car? I'm not expecting it to go. Alright, so yeah, we're going very fast. 80 past the line people usually go 130 140 past we keep on going down though we still got a few more signals to head down and this car is heading 203 204 so this limited time car is not the fastest of the all but it is definitely looking why don't we do the brake test starting now we had sixth gear kind of went slower so 202 it was braking is a little long on this car too i may have started braking a little late so i'll give it the benefit of the doubt so braking it's it's Slightly on the longer end, so getting to top speed, acceleration is slow in the first few gears, and it speeds up at like 5th or 4th uh, or 5th, so it seems alright to me, and then once it hits 6th, it kind of just drops all speed, so I recommend you stay in 5th to gain all your speed, but why don't we move on to the turn test now, obviously this is a track car, so it should turn with these, such as this, so I'm not going to complain, it's a very good turning car, obviously. With all of its arrow, it should turn, and it does turn. It's very good. Now the combo with the braking isn't the best, but hey, it works. But yeah, let's go to the dealership now and let's upgrade this bad boy and see how fast it can go. So, I mean, well, how well it can do with upgrades. If you just upgraded the brakes alone and reduced the weight on this car, it'll definitely give it the better turning and probably better braking that you're looking for. But why don't we just upgrade everything to the max here? Go there. Go to paint. Let's see what other options we have. We don't really have much options except for taking off some of the uh, what's it called decals. We we'll just upgrade the car to max here. So engine 12,000, of course. Why don't we do turbocharging? Yeah, we'll do turbocharging because we get 400 horsepower with that. Braking. Why not? Weight reduction. It's gonna make my car bounce up like eight feet or not. Interesting. Okay, grip. We'll definitely get some grip tires going. Transmission. Race transmission. Suspension, uh, we're not gonna mess with this. I think the car didn't go too high up. I mean, we are still kind of hovering now. Drive terrain, we can change it. I think we should just keep it in uh, rear wheel drive because rear wheel drive is best drive, obviously. And uh, why don't we get onto the road now and see what top speed we can hit now? So let's go over here, kind of line our car up right over here and see how it does so track control is already off and oh my god i was doing the turn test with track control off but it was still 
doing really good. Oh my god. Okay, why don't we do the uh, top speed test? So, so three, two, one, go. Off the line, track control. Let's turn that back on so I don't forget. Okay, we're going. So now this car has a lot faster acceleration. I mean, we're hitting pretty much 200 at like half the time. And we're hitting sixth gear and we're just cruising now. We're just hitting 120, I mean, 220. Like, we're just kind of climbing the numbers. We're just kind of walking it. Why don't we do the braking test starting now? Braking has been, has gotten a lot better. A lot, lot better. That's pretty good. I do like that. Now, why don't we go back and do the turn test now and see how this car can do. So, so far, the upgraded version is definitely doing a little bit better than the non upgraded version. But overall, the car is not too bad all right it's it's obviously one of those co collectible limiteds and it looks really really nice but it doesn't do bad overall there's other limiteds that would definitely do better there's other cars that definitely do better but this definitely is one of a kind because it's just it just looks nice it drives nice it's just overall a pretty nice car now turn test car handles it really well even though i'm gassing it through some of these turns it's really really good i do like it a lot but yeah what do you guys think about this car? Leave in the comments below. Personally, I think this car is a mid-tier, what's it called, addition to the Limiteds. Now, I'll be reviewing the other Limited Time cars, and then some Greenville cars in some upcoming videos. And then next week, I'm on vacation, so I'll just some pre-record some videos, upload them here and there, and see how that goes. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.